Hey guys, welcome to Wickedly Crypto. Today I'm going to talk about Ethereopedia. Essentially, it's an online encyclopedia on EOS blockchain. So before we get into that, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date with the upcoming ICO, airdrop, and hard fork. So just to remind you guys, um, I created a video earlier regarding airdrops on EOS. So with the EOS mainnet launch in June, there are a lot of Dapps or decentralized applications running on EOS platform, they are giving out a lot of airdrops. So make sure you do the token swap uh, in the EOS website because uh, EOS is going to migrate from Ethereum blockchain to the EOS blockchain. So make sure you do the swap, otherwise you will lose your token. And also, uh, this will also uh, qualify you to all this airdrop as well. So let's get back to the Everpedia. So essentially, it's an online uh, encyclopedia. It's just like Wikipedia. In fact, one of the co-founder of Wikipedia, uh, Dr. Larry Singer, he joined Everpedia. So he doesn't. He's not for, uh, happy with the current uh, how the directions of Wikipedia go because right now Wikipedia, we don't know who edited it, and then. We don't know when do they edit it. It's controlled by a handful of editors. So they can easily, you know, dictate what content can be written in Wikipedia. So, and the system is uh, more centralized. So he already joined uh, Everpedia. So the biggest problem with online information today that it is centralized and controlled by a few players and it benefits to have the most salacious and hyper written information, we can do much better. And IQ, tradable IQ, IQ token is um, is the is the token for the Everpedia. And they're going to utilize the uh, EOS blockchain and they're going to run on the IPFS um, nodes, which is uh, D2 also use the same IPFS as well. And currently right now, uh, Wikipedia, they have 43 million pages and has 136 million active users. Everpedia right now has 6 million pages and 2.3 million users. So he talked about uh, they want, it opens up uh, so many doors when information is fully decentralized and offered in a protocol such as blockchain. So they plan on doing an airdrops uh, when the mainnet launch in June. So to redeem the IQ token, Everpedia member must register their existing EOS token with the startup. Any user who purchased EOS token through uh, is June 15, uh, 20, June 15 will be eligible to receive the IQ token. So they're going to take a snapshot on the EOS blockchain. Uh, and also users should not have to share public key or provide access to their funds to receive token. And the startup is committed to transparent communications and security, and which is why it, it has chosen to proceed with this method for the airdrop. So just like a lot of airdrops, uh, they take a snapshot of your wallet, and then they just automatically do an airdrop. So you don't have to provide any, you know, public key or any key at all. And so the Everpedia co-founder, uh, he talked about we're delighted to have uh, to share the airdrop day with our growing Everpedia community and look forward to further disrupting and dis uh, democratizing the traditional encyclopedia model. So let's see, let's go back to the Everpedia. So Everpedia, uh, they located in Westwood Village neighborhood of uh, Los Angeles and they're going to utilize the blockchain technology to reward users with cryptocurrency they're going uh, and then the user can query submit and uh, the content to its database for a pdf network and get reward in the form of iq tokens so originally this project uh, was created as a side project uh, in probably in uh, one of the uh, co-founder uh, Casman's uh, dorm room in UCLA. So this is just like a dorm room thing uh, once again. And, but it's pretty interesting. Just like Facebook, right? They create uh, from the dorm room as well. 
And the problem with the current uh, traditional online encyclopedia is every, everyone using it and no one actually know uh, who added it or when did they edit it. And also they are controlled by a few, uh, few players. So we don't know if they uh, dictate the content of the, you know, what's, uh, what, what was written in Wikipedia and all that. So, so Everpedia official mission is to modernize, consolidate and decentralize the governance of the online uh, encyclopedia. So the aim is to, by allowing more editorial decision making in the editing process, also uh, they want to allow a, a wider breadth and scope of the content from the traditional encyclopedia, which is Wikipedia. Right now we have in uh, currently available. And also, uh, they, they decided to use uh, EOS uh, blockchain, uh, utilizing their technology. They are going to run, run on the, uh, let's see. And they have also the white paper talk about, they have, um, the modules, three modules, IQ token module is essentially the IQ token balance of address, transfer of token, application of transaction fee, and minting of new coins and locking token for article consensus process. So for the article module, they're going to, um, each proposed uh, edit is then installed an IPFS node. So the IPFS node is a decentralized model. Also, to propose an edit, user must put forward a small amount of IQ token as collateral, and then which is returned if the edit is approved. So this process will serve, uh, serve as an incentive for people to propose an um, accurate and valuable edit, uh, because if you don't have collateral, you can write anything you want, right, With, without any uh, quality. And then it is incentive in uh, this incentive to propose edit that contains spam. Well, there's a lot of uh, bots in Steemit right now, right? Isn't it? <laughs> and the government uh, governance uh, module is is to allow the community to come to a social uh, consensus of the rules that govern the network as a whole. So this is a more decentralized model compared to uh, the current system. The Wikipedia uh, is it's like a closed system. It's a centralized model. We don't know, we don't know uh, who puts through those articles, and we don't know who is uh, edit, who is editing the article. And somehow, well, it may dictate some content uh, for Wikipedia. So we don't know. Maybe so. I think it's better to decentralize and everybody have a say what's going on. And the airdrop. So the airdrop, uh, they, they announced that they will take a snapshot by June 15. So it will be, the snapshot method will be EOS Genesis Snapshot 2 for initial token initial token balance. So June 1st, the EOS Magnet is already launched. And <clears throat> they will, so make sure you use, to register for the token swap, so your Ethereum, uh, so your EOS can migrate from the Ethereum blockchain to the EOS blockchain, because this snapshot is going to be on EOS blockchain. So in order to be eligible for the air job, so this is a pretty interesting project, and um. So make sure you uh, register your token in EOS.io uh, website and you don't want to miss out all these airdrops and there's a lot of other airdrops uh, from other decentralized applications on the EOS platform. So this is just one of it. So it's important you register your token. And don't leave it in the exchange, otherwise you are not qualified for the airdrop because they're going to take a snapshot of your EOS. Uh, the, the snapshot will be taken on the EOS blockchain. So if you find this video uh, helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. So what do you think about this uh, project? Do you think this will disrupt the, the current online uh, traditional encyc uh, encyclopedia um, ecosystem? So please comment below. So if you like my video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Be sure to subscribe, also share with your friends so you can uh, share with all the goodies to them, right? So be sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date with the upcoming half ICO and airdrop. 
I'm not a financial advisor. Investing in ICO has inherent risk. Please use your due diligence. Remember, we the people take control of our money. Stay wise, stay safe, peace.